Today is a team of the most loyal players versus a team of the biggest traders. Now, the team of loyal players is going to be the Buffalo Bills since they have one of the most loyal fan bases in the NFL. It'll be a collection of players who have played their entire careers with just one team. The New York Jets will be the team of the NFL's biggest traders and they'll be led by Aaron Rodgers. They will be a collection of players who have requested a trade or went and signed with a rival team. They will complete a collection of challenges in practice mode, franchise mode, and a Super Bowl matchup to decide the winner. Starting with the team of the loyal players, they will have Larry Fitzgerald as their team captain. He has spent his entire 17-year career with the Arizona Cardinals where he led the NFL in receiving touchdowns in back-to-back -back years and he was included in the 2010 All-Decades team. Michael Irvin, Marvin Harrison, and Tyler Lockett will round out the rest of the wide receiver core as they played their entire career with the team that drafted them. The starting quarterback for this team is going to be Dan Marino and he went on to play 17 seasons with the Dolphins winning multiple awards in his career. Honorable mention goes to Jim Kelly who played his entire career with the Buffalo Bills. The running back choice was easy. We're going with Hall of Famer Barry Sanders who spent his entire career with the Detroit Lions and during his time there he only made the playoffs five times. Jim Brown will be the backup running back and starting fullback. At tight end I am bringing in Travis Kelsey who's currently still active in the NFL but he's won multiple Super Bowls. Antonio Gates was an undrafted tight end who signed with the Chargers and he stayed loyal to them for 16 years. The offensive line includes David Bakhtiari, Marshall Yonda, Bruce Matthews, Zach Martin and Lane Johnson. The defense is going to be led by Hall of Famer and probably one of the greatest defense of players of all time, Lawrence Taylor. Derek Brooks, Ray Lewis, and Levante David will play alongside Taylor. And moving on to the defensive line, it includes Michael Strahan, Aaron Donald, Fletcher Cox, and Cam Hayward. All four of these players have stayed loyal to the teams that drafted them. Evan McCourty is one of the best safeties in recent years with his incredible play for Bill Belichick and the Patriots. And when we talk about loyalty, another safety that comes to mind is Troy Polamalu. And now to finish the rest of our lineup, we have at cornerback another Steelers legend, Mel Blunt, Darrell Green, who played for Washington, and then Rondé Barber, who spent his career with the Bucks. The team of the biggest traders in NFL history is going to be led by Aaron Rodgers. Over his career, he went from being a fan favorite to one of the biggest traders in the NFL. He requested a trade out of Green Bay, and he finally got his wish recently, where the Packers shipped him off to the New York Jets. Honorable mention of one of the biggest traders is going to be Brett Favre. At running back, we have Curtis Martin, who signed an offer sheet with the division rival Jets, and DeMarco Murray, who had a great few seasons in Dallas, who decided to sign with the Eagles later on. There are plenty of wide receivers to choose from in terms of being a trader, but the ones that stuck out to me were Randy Moss, Terrell Owens for leaving the Eagles to play for the Cowboys, Stephon Diggs who requested a trade from the Vikings and ended up in Buffalo, and then Andre Johnson who left the Texas to play with a divisional rival Colt. After winning three Super Bowls in New England, Rob Gronkowski decided to retire from the NFL, but a few years later unretired and went to go play with Tom Brady in Tampa. The offensive line includes Orlando Brown Jr., Steve Hutchinson, Alex Mack, Kevin Zeitler, and Alejandro Villanueva. The defense is going to be captained by none other than Hall of famer Deion Sanders who left the Niners after a really good season to go play for the rival Cowboys. Richard Sherman and Jalen Ramsey will join Deion at corner where both players left the teams that drafted them to play elsewhere. One of the biggest traders in NFL history is Julius Peppers. There were reports that Carolina offered Peppers a contract that would make him the highest paid defensive player of all time but he declined and went to the Chicago Bears. After four seasons in Chicago he decided to sign with the Green Bay Packers who are a huge divisional rival. Bob Miller and Darnell Dockett will round out the rest of the D-line. Charles Haley won two Super Bowls with the team that drafted him and then left the Niners to go play for the Cowboys. He did end up winning another three Super Bowls in Dallas, so I guess he did make a good choice. Roquan Smith and Sean Phillips will round out the rest of the linebacker core where Khalil Mack and Randy Gregory will be the backup. At safety, we have Tyron Matthew and Buda Baker who recently has requested a trade out of Arizona. Both teams are loaded with talent and this competition is going to be a lot of fun. The first challenge is the punt return. The loyal team is up first and Barry Sanders returns it for 12 yards. On attempt number two, Barry Sanders is able to go right up the middle and pick up 16 yards. And he then follows it up with another big gain of 12 yards to put the total to 40 yards on just three attempts. Tyler Lockett will take the next two attempts and he's only able to pick up four yards. On Team Loyal's last attempt, Lockett was able to pick up 14 yards for a grand total of 58 yards, which is definitely beatable. First attempt for Deion Sanders and the team of traders and he starts off with a big 13 yard pickup. On attempt number two, he's able to find a hole and pick up a huge 34 yards and he follows it up with another 12 yards for a total of 59 so far. With just two attempts left, Andre Johnson is up next and he picks up a solid 10 yards on attempt four and 
closes out with eight yards for a grand total of 77. And the team of traders end up winning the punt return challenge. Next up is the goal line phase challenge where three receivers on both teams go one on one with the best corner. Starting with the loyal team, Dan Marino throws up to Larry Fitzgerald who fails to come down with the first catch. But on attempt number two, he is able to catch it over Richard Sherman to get them on the board. Michael Irvin is up next, but Sherman is able to knock the ball away in the end zone. But luckily for the team of loyal players, Irvin is able to make an incredible catch for a touchdown on his second attempt. Marvin Harrison is next, and he is not able to catch a touchdown pass on attempt number five, but somehow is able to catch the ball over Richard Sherman for a touchdown. The loyal team is able to go three for six, but now we have the team of traders up next. Starting quarterback Rodgers lobbed it up to Randy Moss, and he is able to catch it over Darrell Green. And on attempt number two, Moss does it again and catches it for another touchdown. Darrell Owens is next, and Rodgers puts it in a perfect spot for Owens to come down with it. On his next attempt, Rodgers overthrows the ball, and Owens could not make the play. And on attempt number five, Stephon Diggs could not hang on to the pass from Rodgers. It all comes down to this last pass. Rodgers steps back and lobs it up as Stephon Diggs comes down with an incredible catch. The team of chairs were able to complete four out of six passes in the end zone to win the goal line phase challenge and take a huge two challenge lead. The passing challenge is next and whichever team tallies up the most yard win. If a quarterback gets sacked, it'll be minus five yards and if a quarterback throws an interception, it'll be minus 10 yards. On Team Loyal's first attempt, Dan Marino finds Barry Sanders over the middle for a solid 21 yards. And on attempt number two, Marino goes right back to Barry Sanders, this time for 24 yards. And why fix something that is working really Really well. He goes right back to Sanders for 21 yards for a grand total of 66 through three attempts. With just two attempts left, Marino has plenty of time in the pocket and finds Michael Irvin for a huge gain of 29 yards. And he follows it up with another 28 yards for a grand total of 123 yards. Now we have Aaron Rodgers and the team of traders and he throws an interception to Troy Polumalo losing 10 points to start. At attempt number two, Rodgers tries the same pass, but this time he gets knocked away. He then follows it up with a completion to DeMarco Murray for 26 yards. The team of traders need two big gains on these last two attempts to try to win this competition. And Rodgers is able to connect with Randy Moss over the middle for 26 yards. And on their last attempt, Rodgers hits Gronk, but he's only able to pick up 13 yards for a total of 55 yards, which isn't good enough to beat Team Loyal in the passing challenge. And the score is now two challenges to one. Next up, we have the franchise challenge. Whichever team, the team of loyal players, or the team of traders has a better head-to-head -head record between the two teams will win this challenge. If they split the season series, the tiebreaker will be who has the best record at the end of the season. Through seven games, both teams are undefeated with the team of traders 7-0, while the team of loyal players are 6-0. Dan Marino is playing lights out, throwing for over 2,000 yards with 24 touchdowns and a pass rating of 140, while Barry Sanders already has 745 rushing yards and nine touchdowns. Michael Strahan leads the team of loyal players with eight sacks through six games. As for the team of traders, Rodgers is having a solid season as well with 1,700 yards and 24 touchdowns. Randy Moss is currently leading the team with 427 yards and 5 touchdowns, while Julius Peppers currently has 13 and a half sacks and is leading the NFL. And now, simming to the end of the season, which team will have the better head-to-head -head record? Team Loyal was able to win the Week 9 matchup over the team of traders by a score of 35 to 25, where Strahan, Donald, and Taylor combined for 8 sacks. And the team of Loyal players continued their dominance, defeating the team of traders once again in Week 14 by a score of 49 to 38. The team of Loyal players defeat the team of traders in the franchise challenge and they also finished the season with a perfect 17-0 record while the team of traders just lost those two games. Dan Marino led the NFL in passing yards and passing touchdowns on the year while Rodgers finished second with 53 touchdowns. Barry Sanders finished the season with the most rushing yards and rushing touchdowns while Chris Martin was not far behind. Michael Strand finished the season with a league leading 32 and a half sacks while Peppers had 20 and a half and Lawrence Taylor had 27 and a half. After saving the playoffs, Team Loyal wins the Super Bowl over the 49ers where Dan Marino won Super Bowl MVP and NFL MVP. And after the franchise challenge, it is all tied up where both teams have two challenge wins each. The final challenge is a Super Bowl matchup where we have Dan Marino leading Team Loyal going up against Aaron Rodgers and the rest of the team of traders. And Dan Marino starts the opening drive with a handoff to Barry Sanders who picks up 7 yards. They continue down the field, but on 3rd and 13, Marino can't find an open receiver downfield and they had to punt the ball. On Aaron Rodgers' first drive, he finds Gronk for a big gain of 16 yards and into scoring position. On 3rd and 11, Rodgers sets his pressure and has to throw the ball away and the team of traders just have to settle for 3. Unfortunately, Dan Marino could not convert on a 3rd and 7 and they ended up settling for 3 to tie the game. But on the very next play, Rodgers finds Moss for a 75-yard touchdown to put them up 10 to 3. The team of traders were able to score again just before half thanks to a 79 yard punt return touchdown by Deion Sanders. A big third and 21 for Team Loyal and Marino finds 
with Michael Irvin deep for a 42-yard completion. A few plays later, Marino goes right back to Irvin for a 23-yard touchdown, cutting the lead to seven. On the very next drive, Rodgers leads his team of traders down the field and caps it off with a touchdown pass to Garrard. The team of loyal players answers back with a touchdown pass to Larry Fitzgerald, but the traders' offense is just too much for the defense to handle, and Curtis Martin scores to extend the lead to 14. Deion Sanders comes up with a huge pick in the last few minutes of the game to put the game away, and the team of traders end up defeating the team of loyal players to win the Super Bowl, and more importantly, this entire competition by a score of three challenges to two. And if you enjoyed a video just like this one, make sure to go check out where I had your boy Pizza's Dream Team go up against KK's Dream Team in Madden. We'll see who won.